In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five circular infographic options right in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've added one big uh, circle where you can add the business headline. And then for each option, I've given different color combination. Option one, you can add the title and the detailed text. Likewise, you can do for the option two, three, four, and five. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any gradient fill background so you can see here I have selected the gradient fill and I have used two stop one is the light gray color and another is a dark gray color and the direction I have chosen you can see here this is linear left then go to the view enable the guides go to the insert shapes from the basic shapes I'm going to choose the old shape draw the old shape by holding the shift key so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease the size and then go to align center align middle then i'm going to add one more circle by pressing ctrl d you can see here and this one i'm going to give some uh, different color again align center align middle and hold the ctrl shift key increase a little bit size maybe this much all right and then send this to back all right so next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this green circle into five equal parts okay so for my future use i'm just going to select this shape press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to keep it aside here okay so now the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to insert shapes select the rectangle i'm going to cut some portion of the rectangle okay you can see here only some portion which is more than 60 percent select this shape hold the shift key select this one go to the merge shape and subtract so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this so here also i'm going to move it aside then go to the insert shapes select the rectangle draw a small rectangle like this alt and the right arrow key you can make it and you can just put it here you can see here make sure that the line should be bigger than this uh, the shape this semicircle shape as i said this uh, said i'm going to uh, cut this into five equal parts or six equal parts depending on the requirement and you can see here the small the curved circle here i'm just going to select and put it like this okay you can see here i'm just going to put it like this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just going to put it here the second one ctrl d the third one and the fourth here so you can see here i've added one two three four five okay shapes i'm going to cut this one so select this shape first hold the shift key select this one this one this one and this one go to the shape format merge shape and just say fragment okay so i'm going to delete this part you can see here and all those things i'm going to delete this one and these lines also i'm going to delete so i'm going to select like this and delete this one and again select this one and delete you can just see here i'm just highlighting it and here also i'm going to highlight this one and delete this one select all these shapes this green one go to the shape format shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to give some different colors here maybe i'm going to give this as a green this one i would like to give some orange this one could be a purple and here i'm going to give some red and maybe some blue color here select this shape align center align middle shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white and go to the effects shadow and i'm going to select this one which is offset bottom right so i end up getting a shape like this the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add a uh, one more uh, circle hollow for this one i don't need this one let me just delete go to the insert shapes select the circle hollow from the basic shapes 
hold the shift key to get the perfect circle all right and then align center align middle and you can see the small orange point just drag this outside all right if you want to increase the size you can hold the control shift key and increase the size a little bit and i'm going to make it much more wider okay like this the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this one into half okay for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering the the left part of the circle hollow select this shape hold the shift key select this one merge shape and subtract the next thing which i'm going to do is a rounded corners here for that go to insert shapes from the basic shape select the oval draw by holding the shift key okay and make sure that it is properly aligned okay so let me just give some different color here for my easy understanding and i can make it somewhat transparent also and make sure that it should not be big or it should not be small okay so this is some tricky part here hold the control shift key bring it down all right now i'm going to select this shape this one and this one more shape i'm going to make it union so it becomes a curve or a, or a rounded corners here so shape outline i'm going to give it more kind of a gray color shape fill make it no fill so i'm getting a shape which looks something like this all right the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add some more uh, five circles here so go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the oval shape draw the oval shape again by holding the shift key all right and make sure that it is it should not go beyond this one shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white doesn't matter if it is not looking also and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this one hold the shift keys reduce the size and i'm going to give for example purple color and put it here select both the shapes align center align middle and if you want you can just give a shadow effect here okay you can see here now i'm going to select this one both control g to group it or before that one you can just add the number here go to insert text box and i'm going to say zero one i'm going to use the font which is open sans uh, maybe extra bold center align i'm going to use the white font and put it here exactly and make sure that all this is align center align middle press ctrl g to duplicate ctrl d to duplicate sorry ctrl g to group and ctrl d to duplicate so i'm going to put it here one hold the ctrl shift key drag this one here one more press ctrl d put it here hold the ctrl shift key and put it down here now what are the color combination i have choose here i'm going to choose the same thing here so you can see here i'm going to give a green color here this could be uh, orange here it's purple then this one will be red and here will be a blue inside one i need to select all right now it's time to change the numbers to one two three four and five and once this is done go to insert text box add the business headline you can make it a uh, dark gray i'm going to use the open sans extra bold increase the size center align and put it here now i'm going to select all the shapes by pressing ctrl a move it towards the right all right and then go to the insert text box title here again open sans instead of extra bold i'm going to choose semi bold any font of your choice you can use it maybe i'm going to give a color which is green 
insert text box add the details here equals hello rem within brackets one and detail text here reduce the font size give the gray color and put it here select both the shape press ctrl g to group it this will be here press ctrl d this is my second option the third fourth and this is the fifth option and if you want to do some basic animation you can do the animation and for this text color also the depending on the color which we have chosen you can just change the color you can see here then this will be a red and this will be a blue or aqua color done as i said if you want to do some basic animations you can do the animation effect